Well, I started, I wanted to do it since I was a kid. I wanted to do it with my stop motion camera when I was 11 uh, with clay. And uh, this particular version took about 14 years, 15 years almost, which is half of my career to get it made. I've had a career of 30 years and half of it has been trying to make this one. From my many wanderings on this earth, I had so much to say about imperfect fathers and imperfect sons, and about loss and love. My role is Pinocchio, as you know. He's such, a, he's such an energetic, happy soul. And I've sort of, over the years, I've sort of directed me into Pinocchio because I relate to him in so many ways. He's a, a father that finds it's difficult to replace his son and it's a mistake a lot of fathers make when they lose someone they they want to replace with what they what they loved originally and he he finds it hard and it takes him a long time the whole course of the film actually to learn how to love it's a different story than, than what, what we think we know of it if we've only seen the other movies. You know, if you've read the book, which I hope you did, then you get it that this is much closer and it's, it's a darker, it's a sinister story. It's not all happy, happy. You know. Well, this is obviously a labour of love. Uh, Guillermo is obviously a man who creates different worlds and this world is one working with Mark and the team uh, with the stop motion you know, expertise and, and Guillermo is just a, a master of everything he does, so nice to be back again working with him. The beauty for me was was how in sync we were. And you know, you don't know that going in because we're different people, but as it turned out our instincts uh, were quite simpatico. So uh, we were almost there was almost a, a, a telepathic connection. So it, it made uh, making the film much easier. I mean, he's, he's so good with kids, he's such an incredible director. I'm sure he's as good as kids as he is with adults. In paper, he's one of the most incredible directors in the world, and I can say that in real life he is too. He's been such a joy to work with, and the techniques he's given me, I'm hopefully going to use in all the years to come. We were fortunate enough to write some of the parts for the cast, and uh, some others, like Kate Blanchett, came in a little later. It was funny because we were shooting Nightmare Alley, and she said, I want to do something, whatever you're doing next, I'm in. I said, well, it's Pinocchio, but there's nothing left. And she said, whatever. I said, there's a monkey in the movie. He says, I'll do the monkey. I was surprised when I saw the script, what it took you through about fathers and children and something every parent and child can relate to. And I, I just want them to be carried along emotionally with the story. Grief and love, because <laughs> it, it is a story about, uh, about those two things. So I hope you're crying at the end, but joyously. It's sort of, it can melt your heart. It's, it's a very sweet film. The ending, I like happy endings, and that's what the ending is. So it does, it brings a tear to your eye. <laughs>